between boundary girls. And uh, let's just uh, quickly talk about uh, the growth of green boundary a little bit. Let's say, for simplicity, assume radius of curvature equals to green diameter. I, I actually I would say half of diameter. It doesn't matter. Make sense? Radius curvature for the green is just a half of your diameter. Make sense? I probably miss a factor of two here. Okay? And then if we say M would be the so-called mobility of green boundary motion. Mobility green boundary motion. And uh, F is the driving force that drives the green boundary motion. The green boundary would move, the mobility would be M, and F would be the driving force as a result the green girl's velocity. Green growth velocity. Velocity would be the change in its radius or diameter over time, right? How fast does it grow? But if we consider it, that's also the speed of the green boundary motion, right? For green to grow or to shrink, how fast does this radius change? It's also the rate of how fast the green boundary moves, which is mobility times driving force. And from what we learned before, mobility we keep driving force. What is driving force? From previously, the, let's use the uh, the the curvature one would be just uh, two of interfacial area, interfacial energy divided by your curvature so i i was wrong i should have r instead of d here okay then if we have this differential equation we put a dt towards the right right and then if we can if we can uh when t is zero that's our initial size radius of diameter then we would have the d square, the d square would be d square zero plus kt. What does that mean? That just means the growth of the radius or diameter follows kind of parabolic relationship. Parabolic relationship. The d square would be kt or similar kind of like d would be square root of kt make sense that's kind of like okay under a idealized situation idealized the situation the change in its radius or diameter it's the same rough the relationship versus time would follow the similar square relationship and the, the typical green girls this is idealized situation. Well, the in reality, the typical green girls would have the factor not as not may not be two, maybe from one all the way to two. That's for the general um, growth case.